Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Ruddy. Welcome back to Morning Rounds. Today's subject is one virus, many tumors. You've heard me discuss recently the breast cancer virus that was discovered by Dr. John Bintner at Jackson Memorial Laboratory in Bar Harbor, Maine in 1936. That virus we know causes breast cancer in mice and it causes non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in mice. Uh, scientists, many of whom are funded by the National Institutes of Health, are now 85% certain that this virus plays a role in 40 to 94% of human breast cancer, and it looks like it may play a significant role in cases of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. But the point I would like to make today is that this is not just a breast cancer virus. This is a cancer virus. Let me explain. The virus has been found in 36% of men with prostate cancer. It's been found in patients with primary biliary cirrhosis and liver cancer. It's been found in patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's been found in patients with lung cancer. So this virus, which is called the breast cancer virus, I think might want to be renamed the cancer virus because it has a very large footprint in many tumors. The point being that if we are going to nail this virus and get to the other kinds of tumors that it may be causing, uh, like liver, prostate, lung, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, then we're going to need to have a broader understanding of the role it plays in many tumors. And we're going to need to raise awareness and funding to support this kind of research. In 2015, scientists in Israel and Italy published a paper in which they reported finding this virus in human saliva and they believe that this is how it's passed in the human population. And then last year, they reported the development of an effective vaccine against this virus, not just for breast cancer, but for all the tumors that this virus causes. So whereas we are fairly certain, not 100% yet, but very close to proving that this virus causes breast cancer in a large percentage of patients, and very likely plays a role in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I think it would be worthwhile for us to get very serious about looking at this virus as the possible cause of prostate cancer, liver cancer, and lung cancer. Again, if we want to nail this virus, we're going to need a bigger boat. It's a big shark. We need more awareness and we need more funding to support the scientists who are working on this. So please like, leave your comments, share, subscribe, and I'd be very interested to know what your experience is and what your thoughts are with regard to this hypothesis. If you'd like to take a look at a video in which there's a very successful story about nailing a tumor virus and developing a vaccine, here's a link to the story of the human papillomavirus and its relationship to cervical cancer and the development of a vaccine that we now have that prevents that disease. Thank you so much. Thumbs up to you, thumbs down to breast cancer, and both thumbs down to this cancer virus. Thanks.